Hey everyone, Psychotronic Squirt Gun coming at you with another classic haul. I hope you enjoy these. Um, this issue or this episode is brought to you by the great Dr. Doom ripping through the cover and Frankie Ray becoming a Herald of Galactus. So sit back, hope you enjoy this. And uh, this is just coming from the backed up back issue area, all chaos, just I'm pulling these things um, chaotically. So here we go. The first one I wanna show is a Silver Age comic, 1968, Anthro number three. I guess art by uh, Howie Post, who I'm not familiar with. Shout out to, uh, um, Gary B, the casual dude, casual, keeping it casual. I didn't know about Anthro until he did this series. And I saw this on the cheap. So we'll take a look at it. I'm very uh, interested in, um, in the Silver Age. It's not necessarily something I really know about, but uh, this looks pretty cool. Looks uh, almost like whimsical. But yeah. Awesome cover. Okay, uh, 1990. This seems like a reprint to me. I don't know. Um, but it it's Adventures into the Unknown, number one. Uh, Frank Frazetta, who, of course, now I'm, I'm watching all these YouTube channels, and I'm like, yeah, I like Frazetta, but he did The Death Dealer. That's how, what I know from the um, from the uh, latest stuff his family was producing or something, but look at this. I watched a video a while back. Someone went to the Frazetta... Uh, gallery and it was absolutely beautiful so when i see this on the cheap i think i got this from uh the local comic shop that's not so local in olympia washington called danger comics so i'm starting to expand my collection a little bit <laughs> really digging that cover man it's so cool Okay, 1994, Spectacular Spider-Man 211. Uh, that's a pretty cool Sabu Shema cover. I like the inks on this. I know uh, Bill Sienkiewicz was doing work with him sometimes, but I don't think this is one of the uh, times. But pretty cool. I got a bunch of these. Uh... Yeah, Bob Sharon does the uh, colors, really cool. But I got a bunch of these uh, Spectacular Spider-Mans. Um, so you'll be seeing these come in and out of the, uh, of the halls too. 1979, uh, Marvel 2-in-1, number 50. That's a, that's a double for me, probably end up in the, in the blog spot. If you want to, if you like how I collect and you want to trade someday, check out my blog spot. Uh, Joe Joe Sinet or Sinat uh, does the uh, pencil work, which is pretty cool. Really digging that. Okay, two thousand eighteen, uh, wasted space number one. I got that. Out of the filthy 50 center bins in Olympia, it's high grade. I I like science fiction. Um, I you know, uh, Rock and Robbie couldn't say enough about this. He really loved Wasted Space. I don't know how popular it became, but that's a super popular uh, channel. It's uh, you know Hayden Sherman does the. Uh, Does the artwork. 
And yeah, so I guess this was pretty good. And to get a high copy of this for 50 cents, I'm not going to say no to that, you know. You know, you find stuff like this sometimes bagged and board, boarded along with the, the other filthies that have the stamp on them, you know, like something like this that's coming up. This is a, a, a indie from the 80s, uh, Warp Comics. I love my 80s. So, yeah, we got uh, Unicorn Isle. It's the first issue. It's from the publisher that gave you Elf, Elf Quest. And, yeah, you got the uh, Filthy 50 Center stamp, but it's yellow. So, shouldn't be that bad, but look at this. Pretty cool stuff. Looking forward to uh, reading this. Wow. There you go. Unicorn Isle. I love my indies from the 80s. 1978. Marvel 2-in-1, 38. This is a uh, Thing series. Um, and there's always a guest star. This one's uh, Daredevil. Shout out to my brother, Rob. It's like YouTube starts... Um, look at this. Work by Ron Wilson. Roger Metarog lo loves Ron Wilson. Underrated artists. Wow. But yeah, I was talking to my brother. I had a very pleasant uh, conversation with my brother, Rob, you know, because he was watching the uh, live show. Check it out on uh, Wednesdays, 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. I have my co-hosts here, my friends who I love. And yeah, you know, it was just a really nice conversation <laughs> about Daredevil and... It was really nice talking to you, Rob. He, he's living in Greece right now. Shout out to Rob and Eleni, his wife, my sister. 1999, Starman, 54, Filthy 50 Center, maybe. Yes, it was. I try to get the ones without the stamp now because I'm going to try removing the stamps <laughs> for some of them, not all of them, you know. Um... But yeah, I, I recently acquired uh, issue two, three, and four of Starman and uh, from Rob, my co-host in that show, cheap comic book, no, cheap comic collector. So thanks, man. Yeah, you guys should totally check him out. If you like buying cheap comics, he does his claim sales, $2 a comic, no shipping cost, boom. I know a lot of people like getting their, their comics for two bucks. And he's got good stuff. See, sometimes the filthy 50 centers are on the uh, on the outside, which is great, right? I got this for the Lobo cover. Of course. It's 1989. Legion 89. There's your dolphin-loving uh, psychopath. <laughs> Uh, shout out to Bottom Tier Collector. He's a huge Lobo fan. And we're actually doing a trade. We're trading some comics. I gave up some Lobos. You know, he already has them, but he doesn't mind having them. Uh, doubles of them. And some other stuff. But for 50 cents, I don't... I, I'm not saying no to this. It's a nice, nice grade. Um, looks very interesting to me. Nineteen eighty-eight, spectacular Spider-Man. One forty-eight, cool Sabushima cover. Um, yeah, enough said. Swagda was saying, enough said. It looks good. Some good stuff.
Now you guys like your zombies out there. Sometimes Spidey has great storylines, <laughs> especially the older comics. This was uh, later uh, than my time of reading Spidey, but I collect it. I used to have all Spectacular Spider-Man, so I'm really happy when those come to me. Okay, another indie from the 80s from Solson Comics. I showed this. I had to show it again. I showed it on uh, my live stream I had last Friday. I like to stream on Fridays, too. Uh, but Ninjutsu, the art of the ninja. <laughs> and this is like, uh, you know, how to, you know, it describes all the different poses and stuff. Pretty dang cool. You know, thinking of my brother. My brother is totally into um, Aikido. <laughs> so shout out to you again, bro. But yeah, dude. Ninjutsu. I love ninjas from the 80s. You know, American ninja stuff. <laughs> we had an obsession with it, I guess, back in the day. Okay, 1977. Marvel's Greatest Comics. Uh, that's that's a double, and we'll go into uh, the doubles program. Got Smile and Stand and Crackle and Kirby. I'm slowly going after even the regular uh, prints, the, the originals of Fantastic Four. So... I love flying saucers, so thank you for that, Jack Kirby. Okay, 1996. Spectacular Spider-Man, 230. Pretty cool, uh, like, lizard skin going on there, right? It's cracked image. Fractured image. Representing a fractured mind. Dr. Connors, of course... Has a fractured mind. There's so much you could do with Spidey. It doesn't have to be focused on Peter Parker. I think that was a big mistake. I was having a conversation with uh, Cheap Comic Collector about that. So I, I think I, um, I definitely side with Steve Ditko. Because uh, Spidey has such an awesome rogue, rogue, rogue gallery. But because Stan emphasized uh, Peter Parker, I think that they don't know what to do with Spidey now. It's kind of sad. Unlike DC's uh, Batman, right? <laughs> DC takes care of Batman. I wish, you know, I keep saying that. Okay, 1994, uh, Filthy 50 Center from Pillared Press. You got uh, Buck, got it. <laughs> the Filthy 50 Centers, you know, covers the uh, trade dress. That looks really cool to me. It's got another Filthy 50 Center right there. But um, pretty cool back cover. Is that gatefold? No, it's not. Um, and some fun uh, black and white art. Within. And yeah. 50 cents, you can't beat it. Okay, 19, 1976. Marvel, Marvel Chillers, number seven. Featuring Tigra. Got this off of eBay. I just bought a whole bunch of like bronze. You know, you could do, you could, you know, I like looking for like just random bronze hauls and stuff. And you can get stuff at a good rate and in decent mid condition, sometimes high condition. Okay, 1987, Strike Force Moratori, 
We Who Are About to Die. I remember this as a kid, and it's a cool sci-fi romp, at least in the beginning. And the characters uh, actually died and didn't come back. So I guess they wanted to try that experiment, right? Because we all know comics where death is ultimately meaningless if they have whether they have a good idea to bring it to bring the character back or not <laughs> sometimes they just do it for sales you know but yeah we had a crying lady uh featured in there um yeah wow 2016 uh jeff lemire dustin uh Nuevin. Um, shout out again to Rock and Robbie. I don't know about Descender, but I watch his videos. I, I listen to his optimism about um, modern indies. And so I like Jeff Lemire. So I got this for 50 cents. So yeah. Pretty excited about that. Looks the art looks good, kind of like uh, watercolors. I also like Sleepy Reader, Sleepy Reader six 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 Damien and his modern indies reviews as well. So I don't necessarily buy them, but I do. Uh, I do keep my eye out. Okay, we got um, from nineteen like eighty six. Around then is is uh, Doc Savage number three, some Dennis O'Neill. Saw this for fifty cents without the sticker on it, and uh, yeah, I'm into it. There's a little advertisement for you, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, which I used to play when I was a kid. But yeah. Doc Savage is, uh, I used to listen to you too, also. <laughs> um, Doc Savage used to be, was actually with Marvel first. It's pretty cool. I collect Doc Savage. I don't know, I think that's volume two for DC. I think volume one was just a limited series. 1987, Starstone, number two, by Aircell. Aircell has awesome, uh, Art typically in it. Never really knew about um, Aircell. And you know, if you watch these videos, who I get that, who I originally got that knowledge from, from a dude who uh, grew up on this stuff. He's a big uh, Brian Blair fan. So yeah, when I see this uh, for 50 cents, no filthy 50 center, I'm very happy. 1994, Will to Power, number seven. Art Within is uh, Terry Dotson. I see these in high grade and for, for super cheap, 50 cents. I just get them. I, th I think I'm close to completing this. I don't know if I have the number one. But um, pretty cool. Pretty cool art within. Super high grade. Nineteen ninety four, Detective Comics, six seventy five. I needed that for my run. It's a newsstand, high grade. Uh, they printed so many of these that you can get these still, but you know people let them go on eBay in high grade. So when I see this stuff in the filthy fifty centers, I kind of pass on it now Beautiful artwork within by Graham Noland, Scott Havana on the uh, inks. All about Azrael being the Batman, right? People love that. Okay, 1989. Excalibur number 11. I uh, got that on the cheap too. 
um, Excalibur. I just get a bunch of this stuff now. I love the Phoenix, even when it's Rachel from a different dimension. And uh, yeah, stuff works for me. This is not Alan Davis. This is not an Alan Davis issue, however, but I still collect it. The cover was cool. I don't know if I'll ever get back around to trying to reread Excalibur. I kind of remember it when I was a kid, but yeah, I collect it. Okay, and shout out to Danger Room Comics. I love, uh, I love that place. But um, 1968, Fantastic Four, number 70. Like I said, I'm trying to go for the original Fantastic Fours when I see them. I want to thank Frank from uh, Danger Room Comics for having this on the shelf. I did pay up for it a little bit, but I love treating myself. I love supporting comic shops that have comics on the shelf, all organized, and ready to uh, and ready to be bought. So you write your in and out. You don't have to wait at the register. But yeah. Thanks for watching this. Please click below for the trading program and check out other channels I interact with and love. And yeah, um, I'm sometimes Tuesday streaming with uh, Metarog. I might get on there with the gray man, but Wednesday I have my show. So check out my show, Chaotic Comic Book Cover Displays and More with Friends. Okay, that's it, guys. See you on the next one. Thank you.